Hey, how are y'all doing? Hopefully you're doing really, really well. Um, this is Jeremy uh, from New Voice ATX, and I decided to do a little video for y'all on um, labels. Um, when I say labels, I don't mean labeling things, because I'm a freak and I love things organized as well, but I mean people and their labels and how severely they stick to them. Oh, my goodness. Like, people are crazy yeah. about it. What happened once? This person started talking to me. And the first question he asked me was, are you masculine or feminine? I said, um, I'm me. And he said, no, you know what I mean. I was like, no, I don't know what you mean because I don't put myself in labels because I am me. Like, that, I guess that would be my label. My label is universal. I do whatever I want to do because I want to do it, not because my label says that's what I am supposed to do or that's what I, only what I can do. So I asked him the same question. He said, well, I'm for sure masculine. And I said, well, what makes you so sure that this is the, what you want to be called? And he's like, well, I don't get down with that femme shit. I don't like fags. I don't like punks. Um, you know, I still fuck with women. I was just like, so that makes you masculine? You sound like a confused homosexual that still thinks he likes women. Honey, that's not going to work. I just, I don't get it. Personally, I don't get it. You know how I feel about cross-contamination anyway, you know? We did a video. You saw it. If you haven't, go see it. Because me and cross-contamination go way back. Way back. Well, basically, what I wanted to come and say about these labels was, if you're going to pick a label for yourself, pick something, A, that you can stick to. Okay? And B, pick something that's believable. I don't understand how you can wear, you know, the big clothes and have the hat tilted sideways with the really deep voice. And, you know, when I when I talk to you on the phone, it's, hey, girl, this, and oh, my goodness, that, and ow, 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 ow. That's wonderful. That's great. I love when people have those different sides. But you can't say you're a thug, and when I come to you, the first thing you say is, hey, girl, that's not going to work. I'm so sorry. That's not what you are. You're lying to yourself, and you're lying to everybody else. And I just think that's rude, okay? Now, I don't give myself labels because I'm not a thug. I'm not masculine. I'm not feminine. I'm not in between. I am absolutely through and through Jeremy Teal all day long until the day I die. If I feel like getting up in the morning, throwing on a sequined scarf and a beautiful pair of Converse, that's what I'm going to do. If I feel like rocking a pair of skinny jeans and tank top, that's what I'm going to wear. If I feel like going, ow, 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 all day long until I'm blue in the face, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not scared of it because I know who I am. I know what I'm here to do. I'm here to just be me, spread some joy and have some fun. Nothing wrong with it. Now, I use this example all the time for masculine and feminine. And it just so happens to be my mother because my mom is a beautiful woman. But I don't know about y'all, but my mama is freaking about it. Like, she's a freaking rider. This woman can chug a six-pack of beers and watch a football game hang with the fellas, and be completely okay. Like, they don't they don't mess with her about being masculine. They don't mess with her about being a lesbian. They don't. Why? Because that's how my mom has always been. a six-pack and a game, you're golden. That's all she needs, honey. Well, at the same time, she can turn it around, and she go and put on the makeup, and she put on the beautiful dress and the heels, and she's the, the most beautiful lady you've ever seen in your whole life, life. She's not masculine. She's not feminine. She's a person. We have different sides. There's nothing wrong with having different sides, y'all. It's okay to smile every now and again. It's okay to laugh at something. There's nothing wrong with voicing your opinions, even though they might not fit your label. That's okay. So, yeah, well, where are all the damn black people in Austin? Like, are y'all hiding? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Really? I mean, there's nothing wrong with jumping out every so often so I can see that you exist. And not just that. What's up with all the hot mess here? I mean, like... Can you please brush your hair? Somebody brush y'all's hair. Can y'all please put on, like, clothes that don't have holes in them? It would be really helpful. I know that's, like, it was in style, like, two or three years ago when uh, American Eagle and Amber went, like, overload. But, y'all, it's 2009. It's almost 2010. And it's about time we start getting a little bit more sophisticated. Question. Okay. So, I 
personally love things that just so happen to be stereotypically gay. I know, it's horrible. I love musicals. I love fashion. I love clothes, which is fashion. I love all kinds of things. Interior design, food, etiquette. I mean, it, I'm a formal kind of guy. And I, Okay, so, point of it is, get a label that you can stick to. Okay? Make it realistic. Be it, but don't let it be you. Cool? Cool. Because there's no set in stone way of living life. It's just how you make it. I'm guessing to make it as comfortable as possible is the best way to do it. But sometimes you have to be a little uncomfortable just to get through. It's weird. I know. It's life. So, from New Boys ATX, I'm Jeremy. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Show, show, show. Come come on, we can be formal. Wanna be crazy? We can show 'em. Dancing tabletop.